What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Brother Leron West. So there's a lot of commotion I see about this Trump and the possible World War III. Um, first, I just wanted to say, before I get started, that I claim to be Better than nobody else, I claim to be nobody but just a servant of God, willing to be used in these last days. So, you know, nobody's perfect. I'm not your perfect Christian. The goal is, is just to push like Apostle Paul would say, is strive for the mark, you know? Um, uh, so, that's where I'm at. So this is this is what what um I am going to share. I know in previous polls from last year, I've been told uh, uh, that I, I I scare some people. Um, so I'm just going to try to be as nice and smiley as possible about this issue. All right. So, the title, the title speaks for itself, what I shared. What lens are you looking from? What lens are you looking through? Are you looking through the lens of the world, blind, and just saying from the outer? You know, because truth be told, it could have been Obama that could have been responsible for this if he was still president. It could have been Bush that could have been responsible for this possible, you know, starting a world war. So the names of whoever is in office, it really doesn't matter. But that's how the world sees. This is why I have the glasses on. The, the, the glasses represents how the world sees. Even though they see my matching with my shirt. But yeah. Those who are seeing from the prescription, prescription lenses of God's Holy Spirit, they would automatically know that spiritual common sense says, if you go with me to Matthew chapter 24, And if you start from the third verse, I'm going to read what it says in the third verse in the Message Bible. What it says in the third verse. Ironically, it's January 3rd. Hmm, I wonder if the third verse has anything to do with today's date. It's possible, but I'm not going to go there because many may not even get it. So, it says on the third verse in the Message Bible, Later, as he was sitting on the Mount Olives, his disciples approached and asked him, Tell us, when are these things going to happen? And these are um, Jesus' disciples, those who follow him, and they want to know uh, when is he supposedly going to come back, you know? And, and so they're eager to know what sign should we look for? Tell us when you're going to be, tell us when you're going to return, Lord. And so this is how Jesus responds. So <clears throat> Jesus said, watch out for the doomsday deceivers. Many leaders are going to show up. With forged identities, claiming I am Christ, the Messiah. They will look like my internet is trying to distract my flow. It's all good. I guess the enemy doesn't like me going doing this. So Jesus said, "Watch out for doomsday deceivers. Many leaders are going to show show up for." For with forged identities claiming, I am Christ, the Messiah, they will deceive a lot of people. 
when reports come in of wars and rumors of wars, let me repeat, when reports come in of wars, rumors of wars, keep your head and don't panic. Keep your head and don't panic. Jesus is pretty much saying whether it was, if it's Donald Trump, Obama, Hillary Clinton, President Bush, whoever would have done, done, done the same act or took the credit for killing the, 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 this man that's, you know, that, that's from Iran, you know, God is telling his people to don't focus on the outer being blind to the world, focusing what's going on in the outer, focus focus on the spiritual. What's really going on? What is he really trying to get get us to look at? And so he's pretty much saying don't panic. Because if you think January third is something to go viral and panic and share different posts about a oh, a possible oh, th th uh, a World War Three, then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be in many panic attacks because this you haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. So let's continue. This is. He said, don't panic. This is routine history. This is no sign of the end. Meaning, yes, you should take it as a warning to get closer to him, to start praying more, to start seeking his will more, to start being willingly rebellious, you know, from, from doing his way instead of uh, uh, for it, like to do his way and not your own way, you know, but don't panic. <sighs> so, uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Let's see, nation will continue to fight against nation. Ruler fight ruler over and over. Famines and earthquakes will occur in various places. This is nothing compared to what is coming. Now, they are going to throw you to the wolves and kill you. Everyone hating you because you carry my name. Let me read that over. I'm reading 8th through the 10th verse, or to the 12th verse. They are going to throw you to the wolves and kill, and kill you. Everyone hating you because you carry my name. And because you're pretty much standing, standing up for my righteousness. It will be, it will. And let's see. Uh, now my grandmother's calling me. How cute. Okay. Going from bad, it will be going from bad to worse. It will be. A dog eat dog, everyone at each other's throat, everyone hating on each other, blah, 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 blah. It's going to be much confusion. Lying preachers, let me repeat that. Lying preachers will come forward and deceive a lot of people. Maybe, maybe I'm saying that too, too aggressively. I'll say it nicer. So, so, so I, I won't be offending anybody. Lying preachers will come forward and deceive a lot of people. For many others, the overwhelming spread of evil will do them in. They will be consumed. So... If you are really a true believer or at least you really claim you study your word, 
when this whole thing came up, the first scripture that should have come to your mind or the chapter is Matthew 24. This is like biblical prophecy 101. Like, this, in the last days, this stuff is going to happen. But don't panic because still there's going to be more. The, the end shall not yet be, but it's going to be more. Yes, it's a sign that we're drawing nigh, but don't panic. You got God on your side. You got Jesus. Shoot, uh, 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 Apostle Paul said it best. Uh, um, to, 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 to live, if, if, I, if I live, I gain. If I die, it's, it's still to gain. Either way, I win. You know? But what the Lord showed me today, as I'm reading through, I share, a lot of you know I share these little, um, little daily bread, um, our daily bread booklets. A lot of churches are supposed to have it, or a lot of churches, like, have it in their display tables when you come in the sanctuary or within the uh, concession area. And a lot, a lot of people don't read them or they don't, they just ignore them. But I find it's very useful and just, it just so happened that God, out of all the days, decided to speak to me through this one little book. And it's just so, quote unquote, ironic and coincidental, coincidentally that God will choose, God chose January 3rd, 2020 to allow everybody to be all of a sudden woke to this World War Possible 3 rumor and blaming Trump and then this, that, and the third, blah, 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 and but then as I, as I decided to read Matthew 24, and it specifically, ironically, shared Matthew 24, verse 3, January 3rd, Matthew 24, third chapter, hmm. It sounds like correlation, coincidence, is it ironic? Because if you read that verse, the verse says, later, at, as he was, um, as he was in, Mount, in the Mount of Olives, his disciples approached and asked him, tell us, when are these things going to happen? When, when will be the sign of your coming that the time is up, that the time is near? And then as I'm reading Matt and comparing that to today's date, Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. But when I think about it, when I know God for myself, God is sovereign. God is all-knowing. God is om omnipotent. God is omnipresent. God is all these things. So with God, there shouldn't be no such, there, should, there shouldn't be such thing as coincidence or ironic. It's God's supernatural, divine sovereignty and providence. But as God spoke to me, God, as God spoke to me through 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 um, the Our Daily Bread booklet, and today it was Friday, January third. 
through the verse that it that it references, Isaiah 30, 8 through 18, God spoke to me in in a few in a few um in these few verses. So I'm gonna read what it says in Isaiah 30, verse 1. Woe unto the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Hmm. Woe unto the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Sinning and sinning, being rebellious, rebellious. No regards to God. Shoot, if, if you really want, 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 want to be woke, you shouldn't be fr afraid about this World War Three or Trump. You should be afraid about going against God. Woe unto the rebellious children. Woe unto those who turn their backs on God. So God spoke to me through, through that verse. And he also spoke to me correlating, correlating Matthew's 24th chapter and I believe it's either the 11th verse or the 12th verse, correlating that with Isaiah 30 and 9. Wow. Isaiah 30 and chapter 9 says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Rebellious children that are blind, doing their own thing, having fun in their evil, wicked ways. America, the world, turning their back on God, loving who they want to love, doing what they want to do, pleasing their, pleasing their self, having the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. No regards for God. <laughs> and you're afraid? And yeah, you guys are scared about this uh, uh, wars and rumors of wars and this possible World War Three, But you dare not be afraid of God? It just shows you how much we are sleeping in the body of Christ. We're sleeping to what God is saying in the spirit. We're watching from the carnal, from the world perspective, but we don't have the spiritual eyes on. Verse 30, chapter, uh, um, Isaiah 30 and chapter 10 and 11. Let's continue. Which saith to the seers, see not, uh-oh, See not the seers, seers and prophets. Some say, some scholars, some theologians say, the seers and prophets are the same thing. Hmm. Well, from what God has shared with me, and from me just looking from the outside in, Seers are definitely prophets. They're prophet-like. But prophets hear many times audibly, audibly from God. You know, they hear God's voice audibly. But seers, seers see things. Seers see physical stuff but in a spiritual way. Seers see like stuff of visuals, like something that 
It could be as simple as as a, a street sign. Like, for instance, a street sign could say one way. But if you look, but, 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 but if the sun is shining on that street sign, you will see the shadow of that, that street one-way sign. And in the shadow, if it's shining against a wall or a gate, or against the concrete of, of, of the street, you will see that that one sign will all of a sudden turn into a cross. One sign, two messages, two different perspectives, but meaning the same thing. One way, Christ, the cross. So, Isaiah... 30 and Isaiah 30 and 10 says which say to the seers see not and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right, uh, right things speak unto us smooth things prophesy deceits so what, it, what, what God is pretty much saying in Isaiah 30 and 10 is the world wants a business friendly Jesus. The, the world the world w w wants a, a a a blessing prophet. Just a, to just to bless me. Tell me how much I'm gonna get blessed. Tell me to tell me how much money I'm gonna have. Tell me how many houses I'm gonna have. Tell me how much fruit I'm gonna bear. But please don't don't tell me of my wicked ways. Don't tell me that I'm wrong. Don't rebuke me. Don't warn me of my sins. But please, keep me blind. Keep me blind, please. Make me feel good. Don't make my, 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 my spirit or soul shake. Don't, don't put fear into my heart. Don't allow me to work out my own salvation with fear and trembling. Keep me blinded. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so between Isaiah 30, Isaiah 30 and 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And then you correlate that scripture with Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and uh, I think it's I think it's 11 11 or 12 according to the message Bible the confusion lying preachers will come forward and deceive a lot of people for many others the overwhelming spread of evil will will do them in will consume them I'm just saying, I'm just saying, what lens are you looking from? All right, God bless Brother Leron West. I'm nobody special. I'm just a servant, willing to be used by God however he desires to use me and many others that are so-called not woke but we are woke to the spiritual. We are woke to why he's allowing things to happen. But I could be wrong. Or I may not be wrong. But look, love you all. God bless. Brother Leron West.